Hi ladies, I am here I, at the time that I said I would be and hopefully the internet will keep working. Um, I would love to hear from you, see where you're coming from and um, yeah, just tell me where you're from and where you, yeah, who, what your name is. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Joy and I live in Uganda. My husband is a missionary pilot and I'm a mom to six. And so uh, I share encouragement weekly um, here on Facebook Live and then also on YouTube as I'm able uh, just to encourage you because that is something that I love to do. So that's why I'm here. So, but the thing is, is that I definitely do not have it all together. So just so you know, um, I, sometimes there's a bit of a lag between me over here in Uganda. So if you're leaving um, a comment or whatever, I might not see it until after, but please do leave your name and where you're from. And as I'm asking you questions, feel free to comment down below. And uh, I will for sure see them after the broadcast, if not during the broadcast. So it's good to see so many of you guys jumping on here. It's really fun. I love this kind of medium. So I hope that I can continue to make Facebook Live work because it's really fun for me because then I don't have to, yeah, just come on here and start talking. So um, in an effort of full disclosure, the first thing is uh, every time when I do a video, I share with you what I'm wearing from my 10 item wardrobe um, for the day. So today is my Bowdoin Blackberry dress. Um, something that's lovely about this Blackberry dress is that it has pockets. Um, and love the pockets. And so it's just a kind of like a really, um, you can see it almost looks like a grapevine kind of design. It's a, a blue color. So sleeveless because here I am in Uganda, it's hot. It's been rainy today though, so I've been loving it. I'm originally from Oregon, so I love the rain. So, um, but in an effort of full disclosure, up until about an hour ago when I took a meal to a friend who just had a baby yesterday, Oh my goodness, the baby's so tiny and cute. But I was wearing this and these. My pajamas! So that's been the kind of day that I've had. So I don't always dress up. Some days I stick in my pajamas. Yes, and I even had workers here today and they saw me in my pajamas. Such is life. So. I did change about an hour ago because I had to run, but you'll notice, <laughs> I left it like this, but I got in the car noticing I have one earring and not one in the other. So that's been the kind of day that it's been. So I don't know how, what is the day that you've been having? Hopefully you've been having a better day than me, a better week than me, but um, I just wanted to get on and talk to you a little bit about feeling overwhelmed. Now, here's the thing, I realized that there's some actually some big things probably going on in some of your lives, um, hard things. I saw somebody had already commented on Instagram, um, something that's help making her feel overwhelmed is two miscarriages in three months. That is rough. So what I'm sharing today is actually not, I'm not feeling overwhelmed by something huge in my life. I'm just feeling overwhelmed by a lot of things that are kind of all coming at me all at once. And so that's the kind of overwhelm that I'm that I'm talking about today but there's a bigger overwhelm where there's there could be death or cancer or real pain um, real hurt and I was actually when I was driving over taking that meal I was listening to BBC World Radio um, and they were they were live from Aleppo um, where there had been a ceasefire and a bunch of people were trying to evacuate so I don't want to minimize it all like real suffering real pain um, just some days the little things can really feel overwhelming. So I'm just gonna share with you some of the things in my life that have been kind of overwhelming me and see if you can relate. Feel free to comment what's overwhelming you right now. Um, Kathleen says it's raining in upstate New York. And yes, PJs are great for rainy days. And um, somebody, my husband just came home last night from the States and one of the ladies at our headquarters of MAF stuck in a peppermint mocha, like an instant peppermint mocha from Starbucks. So I enjoyed that this morning and that was a real treat. So, um, there, I'll just start with all the things that are kind of overwhelming me right now. There's a kid um, that we've been helping um, that's in a pretty bad situation that we know and um, he's needing more help. 
and he's coming to the gate and asking me for things each day and I never just hand out money or anything like that um, but so he's needing my help and um, he's he's in a kind of a really bad situation um, but this this help that he's needing requires me to kind of take my day and drive across town and kind of suss out if things if he's telling me the truth or is this you know are these things really necessary am I just being a sucker this kind of thing and so uh, I feel this heavy weight um, of empathy for what he's going through and also this real weight of responsibility to kind of figure out what's actually going on um, and I in the past few days have probably had 10 to 12 people per day coming to my gate needing something and some are really legitimate some people really are needing things and it's a difficult place to be when you have to come and ask your neighbor for help or for food or for something like that and then there's been some people that have been trying to scam me that people have been they've been trying to pull one over on me and that is hard for me because I want to get angry and I want to close off and I want to say I'm not answering the gate anymore I'm done um, this is too hard for me and so the mess of dealing with real life um, overseas in a third world country and just trying to figure out um, what is the right thing to do what does God have me to do and just when I, and to be honest when I hear the the bell ring in the past few days I've just been have this weight of like oh really Lord again I need to go again and be gracious and patient and loving and, and he's just encouraging me to, to continue to do that and then um, our our foster son um, is precious and his whole situation is really really messy and the government and all the things that I'm trying to deal with with that is really really weighing heavy on my shoulders there's a lot of different people involved and things are not moving quickly I'm trying to do the right thing for him trying to do the right thing for myself and just for everyone involved and so that's just something that's really really heavy on my heart right now um, I have one of my children that's dealing pretty strongly with some anxiety issues right now. Um, and some of that could be spiritual, um, needing some prayer. And so just a lot of talking through those things, thinking through strategies, also praying over this child and helping this child kind of work through those things. And so that's been something else that's been weighing on my shoulders. Um, to be really honest, my husband just came back from the States last night and I do really well, you know, on my own. I get it done. I'm kind of, you know, you know, batting down the hatches and we, we get everything done. And then when he comes back, I love it. I'm so, so glad that he's back. And yet we have this tension of I'm used to being in charge and then he's back and he wants to kind of get in there and I'm trying to figure out everything. So for a few days, we're kind of like doing this interesting dance. Um, I don't want you to think we have any major issues. We don't, but this is always the kind of tension that we have when, when he comes back. And so, so this is kind of heavy in my, in my life. And, um, on top of all of that, we have some painters here and they're using a compressor and literally like the compressor broke, but I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to do this video because it's so loud. So it's just like this headache and ringing in my ears all day and I'm trying to homeschool and I'm just getting angry, angry, angry. And um, on top of that, just the daily responsibility of living overseas, and um, we've had a lot of hospitality, we've had a lot of visitors, we've had a lot of, just a lot of things going on, and so this is the stuff that just kind of builds and builds and builds until I'm just feeling overwhelmed, crying, you know, I can't do this anymore, this is too much for me. Um, and let's not even talk about all, like, my friends who've been text messaging me and I haven't I haven't answered them back. I've got emails to answer. I've got Facebook messages to answer. I've got all kinds of stuff. Um, and so, and then, then that guilt starts to get in me. Oh, you're not a good friend because you didn't answer them or you didn't do this. And so um, all of those things start to twirl in my head. But I wanted to encourage you because today I made a choice, yes, in my pajamas, um, that I was going to think on God and what he had for me rather than my circumstances that kept coming in. Um, last year I did a video about um, a lady who had uh, mentored me for a short time and she expressed, oh, just her life was just expressive of Christ's love and his beauty and just, she just never seemed to get ruffled by all the things that tended to get me kind of worked up inside and feeling overwhelmed. And 
um, she shared with me kind of her recipe, and um, I wanted to just share that with you again because that's kind of where I've come back to. Um, it's in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Um, it says, you know, rejoice always, pray without ceasing. I'm going to put this up here. Um, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. That's his will. And I was really humbled today as I was, you know, going over all of these things. Oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do this, and I've got to answer the gate, and ah, all of the things that are overwhelming. And um, he just, Lord, just quieted my heart and said, you know, these are the things that I have for you today. This is the to-do list that I have. You need to be rejoicing always because I've given you so much. I've given you my son, everlasting life, and life here now, abundant life. And I need to be praying without ceasing. Lord, what would you have me do in this situation? Lord, how can I help this, this child? Lord, what do you want me to do for you know this situation right now? And then in everything to give thanks. There's been a lot of talk over the last few years about how contentment and giving thanks changes your attitude. And I would say, yes, it does for sure. And But then also, oh, my sister just joined. Hi, Heather. Um, my sister joined, that's fun. Um, to give thanks in all things is an overwhelming task, but as I just continually turn the thankfulness and just keep thinking out loud about all the things that the Lord has given me, I can't help but be thankful. And even in the midst of the messy and the little things that are driving me crazy, I have to remember that He's giving me all these things. He's allowing me to experience all these things, to have these things on my shoulders in order to grow me, to not leave me the same, to continually refine me, and to refine the people around me as well. And so the, as we are living in community, we are growing. And so for you today, it looks like some people, yeah, we do forget, we forget about encouraging and building up our people. Um, yeah, and we forget about all the struggles that other people are having around us. Um, to, so I would just encourage you today, whatever you're feeling, and I hope you continue to leave comments in um, down below so that I can see and, and pray for you and think um, through how I can best encourage you as well. But just to go over 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18, rejoice always in the moment when it's hard, sing, pray, praise, speak it, whatever it is. Pray without ceasing, Lord, help me. That's, sometimes that's all I can say, Lord, help me. I need your strength. I need your power. I can't do this by myself. I'm really overwhelmed. And in everything, give thanks, even, even for the hard things, the overwhelming things, the things that feel too much in the moment. Um, and so I want you to comment back to me. I want to hear what are some things that you do in the moment to kind of help you think through what you where to keep your focus, um, and if you have any resources that you enjoy, books, journals, things like that, um, tell us. Leave it in the comments. This I really want this to be an interactive thing. So when I, as I finish here, don't let that stop. Keep encouraging each other in the comments. Keep, uh, yes, oh, here's one. Crystal says, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is fixed on you because he trusts in you. Isaiah 26, 3. Excellent, excellent. Um, Bible study was put this way. He gives us peace for our necessary labors. That's so true. He does. He gives us peace. And, you know, I think going back to last week's video, it also has to do with not putting too much on your plate either. Let, saying no to things that you know that aren't of the Lord. Um, and to just allow him to do the work in what he's given you that's necessary. And I know for me, there's things that are necessary, there's things that I don't have a choice about, and then there's things that I can pile on myself that make it harder than it needs to be. So, friends, I know this was short and sweet, but I just want to encourage you today, and let me just pray for us as uh, as we go about our day. My day is just ending. I'm going to head back downstairs, play a quick game of wig out with my boys. They're waiting for me, and then um, finish up dinner, and we're going to eat when my husband gets home from work. So let's just pray, and then I'll um, pray for your Thursday, my sleeping, and then into Friday. But Lord, just thank you so much for the women that you've brought here today. Thank you that you are with us in the every single moment of our day. Lord, we pray that you would bring peace and encouragement to each one of us today as we go about your work and your will. Help us to rejoice always in all that you've given us. 
that we would pray without ceasing, that we would call upon your name, that we would cry out to you, that you would lead us to the rock that is higher than I than we're, when we're overwhelmed, Lord. And I pray that we would give thanks in all things, the hard things, the good things, the messy things, Lord, that we would just continue to look to you. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, have a great rest of your day and have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.